Welcome to our waking moments. Today we're going to talk about the sequence. Uh, you could call it the awakening sequence. What you can do as you awaken to the momentary sequence uh, of your perception, your awakening. Now we talk a lot in my books about awakening uh, and its beginning uh, within a question. Uh, <clears throat> this question is uh, concerned with Mm, authority. Um, someone tells you something. Someone provides news. Um, some authority figure tells you what to do. Mm, the first step in this sequence of awakening is considering mm, the data, mm, questioning whether it is true uh, or not. Now, it can be either true, uh, false, or somewhere in between. Obviously this pertains to any, anything you might hear Anything an authority might tell you, anything a talking head uh, on the news would tell you that is true. So what does one do when you question authority? Well, you take pause. Uh, we call it the momentary pause. It takes place in this moment, this current moment. You've received incoming information from a source, an authority. And you just don't take it in willy-nilly, uh, believing, incorporating this information into your belief system. Do you? Uh, if you do, I suggest that you go elsewhere for your information. I don't have anything to provide for you. But if you're looking for a way to unpack these messages, uh, to validate and verify this information, you're in the right place. Uh, the momentary pause in this moment, in this momentary path, uh, you consider what the truth of the matter, a cliche we enjoy, uh, is. Mm. Is it what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're reading? Or is there something else going on? And you ask yourself in this momentary pause, mm, what is the truth of the matter? Um, in my books, I ask that my students connect with their entourage of non-physical beings, various types of helpers <laughs> and spirits. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call them. If it works, it's useful. And so we ask for help. Uh, in essence, we ask for help from all that is. Mm, from the um, creator construct. From the God, from the goddess, 
from higher consciousness. What is the truth of the matter? And then we wait. Um, when you get very good at this, you need not wait long. Another couple of moments, let's say, uh, and you pick up the answer, the response from higher consciousness. Uh, it's as though you receive a little memo from all that is containing the truth of the matter. <laughs> Uh, is this true? Is this false? Is this something in between you say? Um, verification. Uh, and over time you begin to trust this verification process because it bears out in your personal reality. Oh, that information was useful. It was true. Mm. It refuted the information that I received from the talking head on television. Most likely. You see, I'm having a little fun here. Now this information, the truth, uh, as verified by all that is, your guides, your higher consciousness, your intuition, one uses that to affirm uh, your personal reality moving forward. Uh, in other words, you use that information to create your reality in an improved fashion. Mm. So you're not using the propaganda, the lies, uh, the misinformation, to create your reality, you're using your validated truth to create your world. Um, you create your reality uh, through a projection of energy through the portal between your eyes out into the third dimension. And this portal, uh, you can also consider it as a filter of sorts, a template, what have you, uh, that creates reality constructs according to your beliefs. Mm, so what we're really talking about, I think, is how does one expand one's belief system to enfold, to encompass more of the truth. That's what we're talking about. And then, how does one, in the next moment, use that truth <clears throat> to support the creation of loving, courageous constructs in your personal reality field? You see, we're always talking about the same thing here. And I always strive to put it in a different way each time so that hopefully more of you can get this message that I am offering. Thank you very much and we'll talk again in a week or two.